Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA was back on their business yesterday doing something that nobody expected and really seemed like an attempt to make a lot of us lose coins on this game at the moment. We're talking Fantasy FC cards and prices today and what EA did to move those. And of course, we need to look forward to what is now confirmed as the Showdown Series promo. A lot to talk about in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about what came first yesterday in terms of the chronological order of content. It was the fantasy upgrades. They came actually three hours before the content drop. Note to self, that'll probably happen every week on Wednesday when these cards get upgraded. It is before content. Now, I just want to breeze over a couple of these upgrades because some are pretty good, some are pretty average. Again, all the cards that get plus ones, it's a plus one in-form upgrade. That was one of the biggest things that we saw. Of course, for the higher rated cards, it is a simple plus one. But if you go all the way down here to the bottom we saw yesterday our first 86 rated card that went to an 88 that was pierre le melu and that's going to be very very nice for the other cards that are 86 rated they have the potential to get that 86 to 88 upgrade which makes them even higher rated fodder for most of them in the end which makes them a really good investment for so some of those 86 rated cards we're actually getting bought up more yesterday. But looking at some of these upgrades, of course, we're looking at a guy like Politano, who we did mention to sell in the hype, and I'm very glad we talked about that because he went from 57,000 coins all the way down to 46K. He's coming back up a little bit. He's 48,000 coins, and there's a reason why, right? On stream yesterday, right, of course, we said buying this card around 45 to 46K is a good investment because there's still potential that he could go to a 91 and 91 rated cards right now in this market are like 55 to 58k so he could go up even more because of that but also this card is just genuinely pretty cracked for 50,000 coins so I think that a lot of people are going to want to try him out and after all the investors that bought this card for 20k again a couple weeks ago sell the card off that supply should dry up and he should start to rise a little bit he is one of the best budget cards in this game because look at that item. That is an insane, insane card. Now, also, Timo Werner was a very popular card that got upgraded yesterday. Once again, to take a look at how they do these upgrades, a plus one overall when it is a card that is 87 or above, and it's a simple plus one on the rating. You get plus one on every single stat category on the card, face stat-wise, and you get two of them that get a plus two. So Werner got plus two passing, and I believe it was plus two physical. So it went from 82 passing to 84 and 83 physical to 85 which is really solid for a striker physical and passing i mean if they could have done defending and passing or defending and physical right they went for physical and passing that was nice i think i think also Grealish was one yesterday that had a really really good upgrade because his plus two went into the shooting category which is very nice for a card that has a finesse plus shooting play style so his card started to trend up as well a lot of the upgrades yesterday did look pretty nice and it did impact the market prices of these cards were rising except for Politano, right? We knew that Politano was going to drop, but most of the other ones were rising up until content. So that was really nice to see. We look forward to next week on Wednesday, where the next set of upgrades will be coming out, and we'll talk a lot more about these cards even later in today's video. Now, let's go to SBCs and take a look at content on the menus. There wasn't a whole lot yesterday, to be honest. There was literally just one SBC that was dropped, and it was Yuri Tielemans, the leaked card. EA did give him a good pace boost, guys. Of course, four star, five star, we, we talked about yesterday. They gave him two playstyle pluses as well. This is a really interesting card. The stats look good. The work rates are the problem. Medium, medium, that is not good for a midfielder. He still might be really interesting to use in game because he has a lot of playstyles. He has every passing playstyle but whipped pass. He's got over the top long ball pass plus. Tiki Taka pinged in incisive pass, and then he's also got first touch plus, which in the midfield maybe isn't as good, still useful. Technical finesse and power shot. Genuinely a nice card with the stats and the play style plus is the work rate to the problem, and so is the price, guys. I mean, looking at this SBC, all they had to do to make this decent was remove the 88 rated squad, or maybe even remove the 86 rated squad. But the 88 rated squad inside of this card is making it 310,000 coins, and it's just... A little bit too much but if you're a villa fan if you want to at least put this card on your watch list like we talked about yesterday with todibo they've got a game this weekend they'll play two games before the card is uh going away from sbc so will still be available and you can decide to craft him at a later date if villa looked like or if this card looks like he's going to be getting upgrades but that was the item yesterday you can see a lot of downvotes on the sbc and on the card itself 
and that's rich just really because of the price also yesterday of course we had the icon sbc that refreshed the player pick which a lot of people were doing guys i don't know what it is i know there's hype because the team of the icons are inside of this this player pick is terrible the weight is disgusting we opened some of these on stream yesterday like we maybe got one good card out of the five to ten that we opened i got kelly smith in this and i just put her straight into the exchange because that's just an 89 rated card that is allowing me to craft other sbcs with the fodder that you get from that like rolfo i did three squads of rolfo yesterday literally from doing exchanges and crafting in the menus i had a really good exchange pack look yesterday and it just allowed me to craft so many different upgrade packs they were hitting yesterday for sure the menu grind and craft is still so very very alive with the 84 times five the 81 plus player pick or the crafting upgrade and of course those exchange sbcs so that is still amazing but there wasn't a lot of new sbcs released yesterday now speaking of the icon pick how did fodder move it really didn't that's kind of the moral of the story that's as we look at these prices down a little bit on the middle tier fodder the top tier is just kind of holding steady didn't really move that much not a lot to report on there prices are about the same now yesterday as well we had a brand new team of the week and uh messi is the headliner of that team of the week with his double play style plus card it's almost the same exact stats as the radioactive but it is a little bit cheaper of course because he does not get the links the radioactive does osimans in here with two play style plus is foden there's really not a whole lot to comment on about this team of the week is pretty um mediocre team of the week sorloth with another inform decent card right power header plus gonna be good for crosses um Ariola got a pretty big upgrade. He has really bad reactions, though. That's a card people might be interested in. Uh, so, yeah, not too much crazy there with the team of the week that was released. But we did have a leak of an upcoming Icon SBC. We were wondering who our Icon SBC was going to be after we saw EA post that as a part of our content that is upcoming. Jarzinho is the guy that is going to be getting an icon sbc soon and you maybe saw the leak yesterday right it was leaked and posted that this jarzinho was coming out guys i honestly don't believe that it is this version i think it's going to be like this zico situation we had during team of the year where we thought it was going to be the centurion zico but it ended up being the base now regardless both jarzinho versions were down a lot in price yesterday it went from a million coins down to under 800k back up as he was not released yesterday he was of course rebounding in price but he is an sbc that is going to be coming soon this actually could be today guys today on thursday could be a day where jarzinho gets released it also could be later on this weekend since it was on the content tweet it could be today it could be saturday or sunday in my opinion in the next three to four days is probably when we get Jarzinho. So watch out for that. His base, what, was 1 million coins before the leak. I would have to imagine that they're going to drop his SBC. Maybe it would be like eight to 900,000 coins. They haven't been getting giving that much of a haircut on price for these SBCs recently. Now, if they do end up being really nice and dropping this version of Jarzinho, the Centurions, I would say probably more of like a 1.7 to 1.8 million coin SBC. I would rather have this version. Who wouldn't, right? You get the better card with how craftable SBCs are right now. Like, you might as well give us this one EA. I mean, I'm just expecting the base, um, and I'm hoping for the Centurions. But, yeah, I'm not investing in fodder for that. I'm still holding all of my 89s that I invested in just because of what is upcoming this weekend. The lack of promo packs that are probably going to be opened. Um, and if Jorginho is a halfway decently priced SBC, people might want to do it. I mean, let's be honest and talk about this for a second. Is this a really good car to be dropping as an icon SBC right now? In my opinion, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I mean, he only has one play style plus. He only has five play styles in total on his card. It's not bad. He's a very meta card. A lot of people remember how good he was last year. He's still good in this year's game. Um, I just think we wanted something a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Mia Hamm, Cruyff, Pele, Dino, right? That's kind of what I was hoping for, but it looks like we are not going to see that. Now, the last thing with content that we have to talk about from yesterday actually revolves around the store and also how EA tried to make a lot of us lose coins yesterday. Now, the packs are no longer there. If I go in here, there's no global limit section. They ran lightning rounds yesterday, guys. That's the thing that really surprised us, and it was the trick that EA had up their sleeve. Now, these packs have expired, but I have a little screenshot of how it looked when it was on stream yesterday. We were looking at these and surprised in the moment to see what packs were being released. They dropped literally the best lightning rounds that they have dropped all year long. These are the lightning rounds they dropped during team of the year when the attackers and the midfielders were out, which made the attackers and midfielders so supplied. Remember when Kelly Smith, um, not Kelly Smith, um, Sophia Smith and Sam Kerr were like really cheap in the first couple of 
like hours and even days when they were released as just the attackers for team of the year in packs that's because these lightning rounds while well, there was better pack weight then and these lightning rounds were out and 85 times 7 tradable 400k pack 2000 fc points and also that 215k pack to the left of it was a tradable 84 times 10 and then the 83 times 100 is the other pack to the right that was untradable but these two packs the 85 plus times 7 and the 84 plus times 10 was a huge set of lightning rounds to be released. Again, literally the best lightning rounds that they could put out in this game on a random Wednesday when, yes, they added Messi into Team of the Week, but, like, is that the only thing they were trying to sell in the packs? Is Messi being in Team of the Week? Or was it really a move to try to get people to lose coins because they were going to put supply on the market of these fantasy fc cards that's almost what it feels like now i know we're talking from a trader perspective and we invest in these cards a lot so that's what we care about the most but ea 100 know that so many people are investing in all of these cards right now for the potential upgrades and since the prices were going up a lot yesterday especially after some of the cards got upgraded it was kind of like ea kind of had their sneaky ambitions to release packs to make these cards drop right Matson, who i invested in went from 43,000 coins to 48 to 49k boom right back down to 41 42,000 coins with the supply of this card being put back on the market i could show you guys so many examples even on a little more of an expensive card gundawan went from 300k to 90 all the way down to 254 he's back up now to 270 he's rebounding the lighting rounds have gone away but a lot of people yesterday saw this and, and maybe even started to panic sell a little bit there was so much buying 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 everybody was getting ready for these cards to continue to rise and then ea dropped these lighting rounds out of nowhere surprised us and made a lot of these card prices actually drop off considerable amounts as they were just getting supplied why would ea drop these i literally think the reason was to try to get people to panic and maybe lose a little bit of coins and just supply the market a little bit more on these fantasy uh, team two and the hero cards. Like look at McManaman. McManaman was a card that I actually had bought before content yesterday and he was two like 05, 210. He went all the way down to 163, which is where he is right now. That's very low for a card that should still get an upgrade, hopefully two, but probably just one, right? A lot of these cards dropped yesterday because of that supply, and it just seems with the timing that EA was trying to make a lot of people lose some coins. But besides that, here's the question, should you sell? Well, if you take a look at the number of coins that I have, I'm not selling, I'm holding, because again, these are cards that I still believe in the upgrades for, and they didn't drop off that much. It's honestly kind of funny. If there was a lot more hype for opening packs right now in this game and, and spending coins and stuff like that, I think, uh, sorry, spending FC points on packs, I really think that the market could have dropped off a lot more because those were ma actually some of the best lightning rounds on this game. But since there's so little hype for these cards, you only pack literally like the fodder ones, it seems, right? Um, not a, a lot of people opened those packs. They didn't go away very fast, and I don't even think they sold out. They were out for all six hours before they ended on the timer not even the global limit number had been opened so it you know was an opportunity to maybe buy into the cards is really what it presented another opportunity to invest on some of these at some of the prices that we saw earlier in the week uh like you know uh not Le melu per se but orban went from like thirty-seven thousand coins he's back up now to like 37k but as you can see here yesterday he was up at 39 and then went back to, down to 33 great investment opportunity and now he's starting to go back up so if there's still low prices in any of these that you want to get involved in you could see that as an opportunity to invest but it also created a bit of panic and you saw those prices drop off from the supply and people that started to sell those it did create some panic i want to just reiterate that because some cards from team one actually dropped off in price as well like konate who did get upgraded yesterday with the packs that came out i think people started to panic a little bit right he didn't drop after he got his upgrade it was at content that Konate went from 490 down to 460. Now he's back up to 490,000 coins. Happened on a couple of other cards as well. Lacazette's still a little bit low. Um, Majuri went down. Griezmann is down a little bit right now. He didn't get upgraded yesterday. Grealish dipped a little and he's back up. But it just created a little bit of panic as it just seemed like, man, it was just kind of scummy from EA to drop those random insane lightning rounds and supply the market like that, like they did yesterday on a day where nobody expected it. 
and really a lot of people had invested in these cards that are in packs because of the potential upgrades. So again, uh, I would say yesterday was a good opportunity to buy some of these cards, even though it's pretty scummy what they tried to do, but at least they're live cards and people have the opportunity to make a lot of coins on them with the upgrades. So we're still holding. The one thing that does scare me a little bit, it, it, do, it does show you kind of how fragile, maybe, maybe that's the word we can use, the fragile-ness of some of these cards, how just a lightning round or a couple lightning rounds or maybe even a little bit of panic selling can make them drop considerable amounts just like that. Just imagine when a player kind of, we've already seen it with a couple of these cards like Shalhanaglu that have dropped off crazy amounts. Just imagine, especially for some of these cards from Team 2, when they maybe fail to get an upgrade point this weekend or progress towards that point, they're going to drop off a lot. So that's one thing to kind of take away from yesterday and remember and, and see that these cards could drop off at a moment's notice. They are a semi-risky investment, except for the fodder ones, right? I mean, still, even those, they could drop a bit if they don't achieve those upgrades. That's just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind after what happened yesterday. So a little scummy for me. I know I've used that word plenty of times in this video, but that's just kind of how it feels. It's one of those EA type things that they're going to do, but we haven't seen them do it in a long time, especially this year. So it kind of just hits a little bit different right now for that. Now, there was some other news yesterday, and I do have a couple more packs in the store that we'll continue crafting through. But I want to get on to some of the leaks from yesterday and the news as well, because the Showdown series promo with the loading screen that we saw and loading into this video, and also with the leaks yesterday, is now 100% confirmed. It is not for birth, that is Friday. It is Showdown series. This is a screenshot from last year. We had the Bino Gittins and the Henricks Showdown SBC. We are getting daily Showdown SBCs and old re release promo cards back into packs again including some of the fc versus cards fire and ice winter wild cards team of the goose stage and probably some others now we did have some official the first official showdown leaks of cards that are going to be included in this promo don't get too excited to see felix or depai anytime soon because this game is not until march 17th but it is going to be a very nice showdown maybe one of the more hype ones throughout this promo these stats on these cards by the way are predicted they are not confirmed so just be careful when you're thinking about that and seeing that I don't know how much EA is going to juice these cards, guys, right? With the power curve that we are in right now, these cards need to have two play style pluses. Whether they get two play style pluses at the beginning or whether that's part of the upgrade at the end, they need to have two play style pluses, in my opinion, to be relevant. And EA might make them a little more expensive because of that, but I'm okay with that if they have a bigger boost and the potential to upgrade with a win, of course, right? Plus two for a win, plus one for a draw. And again, I hope there's also some weak foot or skill move incentives alongside of each of these skill move or of each of these showdown SBCs as they get released this next week. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, Joao Felix could end up being a really, really good SBC. This card is very good. If they give him a better playstyle plus, this card's five star, four star. Needs some playstyles as well. But this card could be very, very good and also links to Rolfo, right? That a lot of people have been crafting right now. The Pi could be decent as well. Needs a weak foot upgrade, right? Five star, three star on his base. So we'll see what they end up doing with that. That's the first SBC leak, but that's not going to be coming out for a while. The second leak is one that I think we actually might see tomorrow on Friday to start right off um, with the promo. It is a Kanji versus Bobby Clark. And if you're like, who's Bobby Clark? If you're liberal not a Liverpool fan, you probably don't know. I didn't. Bobby Clark is a 57 rated bronze card. Um, and of course, these are also predicted stats as well. So again, take with that what you will. These are predicted stats. Akanji is not Dutch, by the way. He is Swiss. That was a mistake on the graphic. He could be very, very good. Um, especially because he's had really good promo cards before. And the way that his item sits in game could be very good. Also, for Clark, he's just going to need a massive upgrade, right? He has got no play styles. He's two star, three star, medium, medium, center mid, and left wing. He needs some big upgrades and a, a lot of play styles added to his card to make him pretty good. So we'll see what kind of a juice that EA give him. But a Kanji straight off the bat interests me for sure. I know we've had a lot of center backs recently. He needs a high defensive work rate, but he's got a four star weak foot on his base. He's six foot two. Great defending stats, great physical, solid dribbling and passing, and he's only got slide tackle, so he needs some play styles as well. But there's promise for this, and this game's taking place on Sunday, which is why I think the Showdown SBC is probably going to be on 
Friday. So this one could be coming out very, very soon. So watch out for that one. And then the third and final leaked SBC we have right now is Isak versus Chilwell. This game is pretty soon as well. Um, Isak is always a hyped card. He's got the Winter Wild Cards version this year, um, which kind of didn't get that big of an upgrade. And I think kind of, I don't know, wasn't that hype. Not a lot of people use this Isak card. Um, it's not a bad card. It's just not that many people used it. Four-star, five-star, of course, is a staple for him. He's tall. He's going to have good heading, jumping, but also good dribbling and shooting. Really solid card. Really good dribbling. He's got quick step, rapid, Trivella on this version. Hopefully some more play styles. And uh, then you talk about Chilwell. That's a very interesting one as well. He could be hopefully getting a massive pace boost and pretty usable. When I think of Chilwell special cards, I think back to... FIFA 21, where we had like the Festival of Football, Summer Stars, whatever it was, the the uh, bright green version of Chilwell when England did very well in the last Euros. They got very high upgrades. That was a really cracked Chilwell card. Hopefully something along those lines, probably not as good. But I'm really curious to see what rating these cards come out as when they get released. Um, but Chilwell, all he has is the jockey playstyle. He is 3-star, three 3-star three left-footed and 74 pace. So we're going to need a massive pace up grade for him for sure but those are your leaked cards at the moment there's definitely going to be more i'd watch out for i think like uh inter is going to be in one and dortmund's going to be in a showdown as well watch out for more of those leaks coming today on thursday and also today on thursday as a part of this promo as we mentioned cards are going to be getting re-released back into packs and we've mentioned that you've already started to see some of the prices dropping on some of these cards like in kunku um there's potential that there could be leaks as to cards that might be re-released in packs so be very careful with those i've seen multiple cards from versus fire ice winter wild cards team of the group stage dropping off in price in the last couple of days uh like this Hyunmin sun dropped down a couple hundred thousand coins yesterday uh the fire version of this card as well he's usually over two mil he was like 1.8 million coins um, he's back to 2.1 mil right now because he's very rare, but some of these cards are going to get re-released back into packs. There could be leaks around that, and there could be some panic selling in those drops there. So those are all the leaks and up-to-date stuff with the next upcoming promo. Watch for a loading screen update today. They might tease some of the cards that are going to be re-released in packs themselves. And um, yeah, watch out for that. Hopefully we get some more news from EA. But other things to come today on Thursday, Rivals Rewards, the usual Thursday stuff, marquee matchups, the objectives that refresh every Thursday as well. Well, um, those are going to be coming back today. And then I mentioned it already, maybe Jarzinho. Don't think we're getting a player SBC today besides maybe an icon. I think it's going to be a pretty quiet day. I don't think there's even anything refreshing when it comes to the upgrades um, apart from your daily regular refreshing stuff. I don't think the 86 plus refreshes today it does not the 87 plus does not either it's just the 84 5 and the 85 plus player pick the last couple chances to do that so that'll be nice to be crafting today should be a pretty quiet day and uh very last thing is i don't know if you guys noticed this or not but ea is still going to try to sell some packs in the store during this um non new promo right showdown series no new cards and packs they're going to re-release old stuff and they're also going to re-release some old icons and heroes in big store packs as well Epic Historical Encore Pack includes four guaranteed Icon, Hero, or Winter Wildcard Icon, UEFA Champions League Hero, or Future Star Icon. So Future Star Icons are packable from this, which is pretty crazy. Uh, one of them is 89 plus, and then an 81 times 35 inside of the pack as well. That's a pretty crazy pack. Um, but it's one of those that, I don't know, man, is it really worth, if you're spending FC points in this game, the packs to really spend the FC points on were the ones that were released as the lightning rounds yesterday, just to be completely honest, especially because they're tradable, very high rated. That's what I would say if you're going to spend the dough on to spend it on. I don't spend FC points. It's completely up to you. I packed Kendreva four times yesterday after not packing him at all in the first, what, four or five days of this promo. Um, wow, Chalhanaglu as well. But that's going into a duplicate exchange. That is a duplicate. It's going into exchange. Is that what I'm trying to say? And that means more crafting for us to get Rollful done and other SBCs. But the menu grind still continues. And that is the best part about this at the moment. Uh, because you can just literally continue to do stuff like this and get new cards in your club. And boom, I just got 27 new gold cards. The potential of packing another of those um fc fantasy players which i did multiple times yesterday from exchange packs and just fodder that i can end up putting into other sbcs so the craft is nice but hopefully ea give us something to craft this next week with the showdowns and, and maybe even starting today let's open the exchange pack i need some more player picks i'm gonna skip it just because i didn't see the flare there it was dutch 
Uh, that one wasn't too great. Anything here at the back hiding? Probably not. Yeah, see, that one was just average. But you know what? I'll take it. Rinse into player picks and keep crafting. Good luck if you guys are playing Champs games today. I'm lazy listing my fodder still. I did sell off a couple of the quick flips that I wanted to have with Rodman and Grealish so that I could have some coins back once again to be flipping other items. And yeah, I'm still very heavily invested on FC Fantasy cards and a lot of my regular fodder just because at this moment, why would I sell it? Why would I sell it? I believe in the cards that I've invested in and fodder. There's not very many people opening packs. So why would I be selling fodder right now when there's more SBCs to come and still a lot of people that won't be opening packs as they'll be saving for foot birthday this next week. We'll talk about that more in the upcoming days, but hopefully today we can all pack one last FC fantasy or get that SBC crafted that we really want to get done before these cards go out of packs tomorrow. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow and in a stream today. That link's down below in the description. Peace. Out.